Hey there, so are you ready to ditch the Christmas tree, take all the decorations down and forget about the festive season for another 12 months? Well, we are now about to plough headlong into the whole New Year, New You season. Yes, that's right, it's New Year's resolutions time and it's also the time when we get loads of media hype about diet, about exercise, about how many steps we should be doing, about how we can be a better person, a better self, a best, better version of ourselves for the New Year. So here's a little bit of a warning to anybody that's going through eating disorder recovery or um, has had an eating disorder in the past and is in a vulnerable state that could be triggered. This is a really vulnerable, susceptible time of the year where you can just get drawn into hearing every media outlet, every colleague talking about exercise, talking about diet, trying to be the new and better version of themselves. Well, let me tell you, you don't need it. And you really, really do have to grit your teeth and avoid being drawn into this cycle of um, discussion around restriction and uh, torture, because that's what it all becomes about. It's all about trying to deny yourself and create some other version that really isn't necessarily gonna be any happier. So all I can say to you is, it's a really tricky time of the year. If, if you thought Christmas and being surrounded by the food was hard, well, actually I think New Year and the dialogue that everybody is um, perpetuating is even more so for somebody that's been battling an eating disorder. So I can only implore you to ignore it as best you can and to remind yourself that however much you might feel tempted to be drawn into those diet discussions or exercise conditions. Think about really in 12 months time, do you want to be the one that committed to that diet, did the paleo, did the low carb, did the extra exercise, did your 10,000 steps? Or do you want to be in 12 months time, the person that actually for their first time really gets to embrace Christmas and enjoy it with their family? Because eating disorders, that world of restriction, that world of self-denial, they deny us the opportunity to be with our families and to be fully present and to enjoy the festive season. So if you don't want another Christmas where actually you feel your eating disorder ruled it more than you did, now is the time to stop. Now is not the time to be drawn, in, drawn into creating a better version of yourself because the better version of yourself is just being healthier and happier you. And that means ditching the eating dis disorder for good. So please do all you can to turn over a new leaf, make 2020 the year that you listen to your heart and your head and you listen not to that eating disorder voice, but to the sensible part of you that knows that every bit of you wants in a year's time to be healthier and to be happier and to be able to live a world free of restriction. Happy New Year.